Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. As you can see, we have many neat little goodies this week. So let's see what all is up here on the table for this Friday. This isn't necessarily a new product, but I think it's worth announcing that we do have the microviews ready for order. These were the um, fantastically successful Kickstarter that um, we actually did the production on, and now we have them for sale on the site. So all of the pre-orders for the Kickstarter have been shipped out, and we have shipped out all the pre-orders on our site, and we are now shipping with stock both the microview module itself as well as the programmer, and they just kind of snap together like that. Inside that is a really cool OLED screen, and if you want to see what this does and how it works, we have a really cool video that Jim put together that shows you exactly that. Next up, we have a new little dinky camera module for the PC Duino family of products. And this is very similar to like the Raspberry Pi camera, and we have Nick doing a little demo that shows you how to use this with your PC Duino. This is the CSI camera module for the PC Duino version 3. It's a simple 2 megapixel camera that connects directly to the PC Duino. The uh, latest release of Ubuntu for the PC Duino already has all of the drivers installed to support this hardware. So you just plug it in, you boot it up, and then you start a program like uh, GUVC View, and you can pull the output from that camera to take pictures or even to take video. I've used it to build this project, which I'm calling the Glitch Boot. And it's a photo booth which takes your picture and then corrupts the JPEG using random data that it just injects into the file. So you can press one button and it'll take a photo. You can push this button and it ruins the photo using a uh, glitching program that I pulled from GitHub. Actually, you can find this at GitHub slash Kareem with five E's slash JP glitch. And the way this is working is it's just using a simple uh, library to pull a photo from the camera and save it as a JPEG. And then it's displaying that JPEG using a classic command line image viewer called Fe for Linux. And then when you press this button, it's taking that file running it through that Python script that corrupts it, and then displaying that output again using fa. And then it's just waiting for these button presses, which are on the GPIO, it's on pins uh, two and three. If you want the code for how to do this, I'll put it into a GitHub repository, and I'll make sure that the link gets into this video so that you can replicate this on your own. So definitely check out these two megapixel camera modules for the PC Duino if you have any computer vision projects that you wanna explore. Next up, we have four new gripper robotic arms from Actobotics. We have them in two different sizes and two different styles. First up, let me talk about the micro ones. These work with the um, sub-micro servo size. These are the servos that look a little something like this, that size. Um, these are in like the SIK and some other stuff. This is just kind of your you know, basic, really inexpensive servo that we have. And the mounts come something like this. So they come with all the parts you need. You just basically bolt it onto the top of your servo. Um, this particular one has the Actobotix 0.77 inch hole pattern. So this will attach to any of the 0.77 inch hole pattern Actobotic pieces. And the other size that we have is also a sub micro. And its pieces look something a little bit like that. And you see that on the mounting arm, you actually have a horizontal row of holes and those actually mount to either the channels, the rails, or the Actobotics beams. Now of course for either of these or any of these, you can use them with whatever project you have, but they are specifically designed to work well with the Actobotics. And moving up to the larger ones, we have this guy and this guy. And these are both just your standard grippers like this. And you can see that the orientation of the motors is different. On this one we have it mounted horizontally, I guess you could say. And then here we have the whole pattern. We have a 0.77 inch as well as a 1.5 there. So this mounts in various different locations. And then this one mounts a little bit differently. You see we've got the motor actually oriented that way. And we have holes all along the side like that. So it mounts inside of a channel or any other mounting option where you know, you'd need holes down the side. For this demo, we're just using, um, you know, one of the SparkFun red boards, and we've just got a pot plugged in just to do the sweep command on the servo. So, you know, they're pretty easy to use. Just plug this in, and there's the gripper. Works pretty well. 
And here is the larger one. Works the exact same way, just a lot bigger. And um, just a note, both this one and this guy work with any Futaba or high-tech standard size servo. So if you look on our website, anything that says standard size servo, these work with. They may work with other generic ones, it's just that the spline might be a little bit different. So be careful with that if you're using something other than a high-tech or Futaba. Just make sure that has a spline that's compatible with a standard high-tech or Futaba. And these are really great kits. It just takes like, you know, a screwdriver and a few minutes to pop it together. So check out the new gripper kits for sure.